everybody. This is Paul, man in the camera, and we got Patty with some really uh, inter some interesting uh, stuff to talk about about the ADUs. Go ahead, Patty. What, what's ADU stand for? An ADU is the short word for an accessory development unit, and this is something that the city has come up with because of the shortage in housing. So what they're allowing people to do is as long as it's a single family residence, they're allowing you to convert your garage into a living headquarters kind of so to speak. So that's part of when you mentioned garage conversion into a legal house, that's your cue on what size is the maximum size that you can actually build an accessory development unit. And these they have a little bit of requirements, so I wrote some out for you. So these are, this is actually a really good idea for a lot of people that live in the LA area, that live in a single family residence and want to convert the garage legally into a rentable unit. So this is um, very helpful, especially if you're tight on, you know, on, on your income or you want to make some extra money or your kids are going to college. This will really help you because we had a client who we went through the whole process of converting a garage into a legal unit. The cost was about $35,000. We did get architectural plans. We did get our application from the city and we did meet the requirements. As long as there's a parking area, city parking, street parking, or in your house, there's a slight area where the car can park. So that's another requirement. That's two requirements. No more than 500 square feet and it has to have a parking area the other requirement is that either you that the owner must live in the property it doesn't matter whether you live in the front house or in the adu as long as you live in it they allow you to build the adu okay so here's here's some helpful tips um like i said you can rent it out 1200 to 1300 dollars it has to have one bedroom, one restroom, and a small kitchenette, and no more than 500 square feet. So when you look at your garage, it kind of makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So you can actually do the floor plan. And I'm going to show you a different, a little bit of a floor plan of what you will need. This is a site exhibit from our architecture. So this is here. here. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Sure. So you can see that we drew the house. Here is the plans for the house. And then this is the driveway. And here's where our accessory development unit is. And here is the garage. So our client wanted to keep a garage for their, for their, for their um, storage for the front house, Christmas, Halloween, things, you know. And then here's the accessory development unit. And this is no more than 500 square feet. Believe it or not, this mm -hmm. is a really good, it, the kitchen is here, the bedroom is here, and the restroom is here. Here's where they have the little living area. So it kind of fit really nice. And so, like I said, you need to be able, you can rent it out, but you cannot sell it separately. Like say, oh, I'm mm -hmm. going to sell that to, to somebody else. You cannot sell it because it's tied up to one accessory parcel mm -hmm. um, number which is how the city identifies your property, is by the um, accessory, the APN number, which for short, that's what they call it for, okay? So you cannot sell it, and whenever you wanna sell the property, does it add more value to you? Yes, it does, because our appraisal came in $50,000 above. Did we make money? Well, it cost, the cost was $35,000, architectural plans, plumbing, electrical, and the sewer line. We had to dig up big holes in through the whole sewer system just to make sure where our sewer line connected and connect the back unit, the garage, into the sewer system, into the main sewer system for the, um, for the street sewer. So there's a, still one sewer, one water line. Um, you can apply for a separate um, light meter, but that's gonna take about maybe 60, 60 days or maybe longer, depending on the city. And we also did do electrical box, which the DWP comes out very fast because they want to charge 
uh -huh. their own separate bill. So, I mean, but this is not, is this a second unit actually, Pati? This is or? a completely separate unit. But it's not a, like a rental, is it? Or is it? It, it is going to be a rental. They did use it for a rental. And they also ended up giving us a different address. So, this oh. one was 9731. Uh-huh. And the, the accessory development unit ended up being 8731 and a half. So, okay. So now we put two mailboxes in front, and there's going to be two separate um, mailboxes. So two different addresses, two different names, two different everything. And the nice thing about this is that it, this was had alley access. So as you can tell right here, the, the people are going to come in through, this is Beverly, mm -hmm. and they go around to the back and come in here. And so the automatic gate opens right here and their parking structure is right here. So our client ended up putting a little fence right here. So they have a little bit of a yard parking and a little bit of a, of a and this is their little house right here. So it worked out really perfect for a lot of people. This is an, an alternative of how to make money and get that retirement money going. Mm -hmm. Start it, you know, start saving money. It, things are getting kind of hard in the industry people are ending up not being able to sell their houses because they can't afford to buy another house why because um the interest rate has gone up one prices are still high and until all these things kind of level off people are going to continue to see to be in the same situation a lot of people just want to rent out the garage and just rent it out for extra income without paying your permits and everything but that opens up another can of worms, which the rent control rules are really strict and I don't really recommend it. I really recommend that if you want to convert a, a garage into an accessory development unit, this is the way to go. Get your permits, get your application. You guys can text us, buzz us. We have a list of people that we can recommend to do the work. So that's it. Happy New Year, and these are alternative ways to making extra money in your house. Thank you.